Hi students, you know we have been talking about renewable source of energy. A place where we can tap energy and it can never get finished. The energy is replenished, replaced by natural means and some other means. And we have talked about the sun or the solar energy. The next one to talk about. So we have talked about the sun and we are talking about today the wind as a source of energy. The wind is a source of energy. And you see very soon that the wind can give us energy. So you ask yourself, can the wind get finished? Now, if wind can cease, then it means that we cannot term that as renewable. But so long as life is life, and this earth exists, wind will always blow. Wind will always blow. And you remember, we talked about how wind is produced. And we said that wind is produced as a result of differences in pressure. Now, if you have two places, and one place has a higher pressure than the other, wind will flow. Wind will blow. Now, this wind is a source of energy and, of course, a renewable because wind can never, ever cease. Wind can never, ever cease. To show you that there is energy in wind, there is a device we call the wind mill. Wind mill. And this windmill is a very big fan. A very big fan. Like this. A very big fan. These are the plates or the blades of the fan. And this fan is made to stand or is mounted on a vertical pole and what happens is this when the wind blows this fan turns and as the fan turns wires are connected to this fan to what we call an armature and students i'm calling all these terms and i will later explain when we get to electromagnetic induction, I'm going to explain all these things. So I'll repeat. There are wires connected to this fan. Now, this, this wire has been shaped to be in the form of a coil. And that coil is placed in a magnetic field. So I have a coil like this. And that coil is placed in a magnetic field. So we have two poles of a magnet and the coil is placed in between the poles. This coil is connected to the fan. So as the fan turns, this coil also turns and from there electricity is produced. Don't worry, we shall be talking more about this when we treat electromagnetic induction. So watch this. So when the wind blows, the fan turns. And this fan turning will cause this coil also to turn in the magnetic field. And as a result, current is produced. And we call this device the windmill. Look, in the advanced countries, where there is no electricity, especially in the remote areas where they do their farming. This is the kind of the source of electricity that they have. They have mounted these big windmills all over the place. Wind blows, electricity is produced, so they source this electricity for their farm need and their domestic need. So wind is a renewable source of energy.
So for an illustration, I have this miniature of windmill. And now this machine here to blow air. And let's see what happens when the air is blown on this fan. Watch it carefully, students. You see what is happening? As the wind blows, this fan turns. And as this fan turns, the coil also turns. And this coil, as I said, is placed between the poles of a magnet. And because of that, electricity is generated. So you see, the wind is a source of energy. You should understand that the wind is a source of energy. All right. The next to talk about is hydro. Hydro electricity. The next renewable source of energy is hydro. Hydro electricity. And what it means is that we want to tap energy from water. The term hydro simply means water. So it means water is also a source of energy. And this source is renewable. Tell me that water can ever get dry on this earth. It is not possible. Water can never get dried. Even pools that are dried, it rains again and the pools are filled. Rivers are always running. The sea is there. The ocean is there. Water can never ever get finished. So if we can tap energy from water, then it means that energy should be a renewable energy source. And look at what they do to tap energy from water. Now what they do is to build a very strong wall, very strong wall to hold water, hold water on one side of it. So this is the wall. And this wall is supposed to block water and hold the water to a high altitude. The water held is to a high altitude. And what they do is this. They have a hole in this wall. They have a hole in this wall. And the water is let out of this hole. And as the water runs out of this hole, they run out with so much force and when it comes down we have a fan position here a fan position here so the water falls on it and what happens is that the fan turns we call such a fan turbine 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 is that the name given to the fan so i'll go back there's a very strong wall built and this strong wall is built to block water and hold water to a high altitude. Now, there are holes drilled in this wall. Now, when they open the hole, now water runs out of the hole and falls with a great force. And that water falls on this turbine and the turbine turns. And this turbine has a wire connected to it. And that wire, just like the windmill, that wire has been joined to a coil. And that coil is placed between the poles of magnets. So as the turbine turns, this coil, because it is connected to the fan, the coil also turns. And while the coil is turning between the poles of the magnet or as the coil turns in the magnetic field electricity is generated electricity is generated in Ghana here we generate electricity from water at Akosomo in Ghana we have one at Akosomo and we call it Akosomo Dam and all over the place in Africa even in the advanced countries they tap electricity from water sources like this. And we call them 
hydroelectricity. So you see, water is a source of energy. We can get energy from water. And because water can never ever get finished, so long as this earth exists, water will remain a renewable source of energy. And let me demonstrate how the fan works. Students, I have this miniature of the fan we call turbine. And I am taking this quantity of water in this container and I'm raising it up to a certain height to mean the water that is flowing through the hole of the wall. So I'm going to let this water run down onto this turbine and let's see what happens to the turbine. Are you ready? Let's go. Can you see that, students? So as the water runs down on this turbine, the turbine turns. And as the turbine turns, the coil, which is there between the posts of the magnet, also turns and electricity is generated. Water is a renewable source of energy. Look, I will be coming your way again. And we shall be talking about the other renewable source of energy. So don't go away. I'll be back. <laughs>